In John 8.32, it says, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Well, to be free is to realize that you have unlimited power because you're connected with God and you claim and accept your unlimited power. Now that's a big one because so often we don't. So often we're so caught in human mind and in personal concepts of our limitation that we surround ourselves in our own self-imposed prison. Well, you are a spiritual being and you're created to be free with the freedom of spirit, free from your limitations, your own self-imposed jails. The liberating spirit of God frees you right now. Through prayer, you tap into your spiritual power and you let go of limiting thoughts and beliefs you release any resentment or unforgiveness you may be feeling. You use your spiritual authority to say no to any situation that might interfere with you expressing full love, full peace, full joy in your life. You're free to think new thoughts, higher thoughts, and to go where those thoughts lead you, to go where God leads you. Sometimes that's quite different than human mind can perceive of. We are free to do whatever we're guided to do and to express the goodness that springs forth from our spiritual nature. We are free to be radiant and loving children that we are of God. And because we accept this newfound freedom right now, we're free from all that would bind us. In the past or even today, if we choose to be bound, we're free to be all that we can be as a child of God.